Hello and welcome to the world of Pisces. Pisces, I hope you all are radiating positive energy at this time. I'm still going to get to these love readings with you dealing with all the zodiac signs. It was just that I lost my mojo. It was like I became really exhausted with the move and trying to get everything together and still trying to come up here and post all these videos. Man, my mind went blank. I lost my shit. Okay, so I had to take a day off. But because it's been so many days, I'm going to go ahead with the regular scheduled readings and I'm going to put the Zodiac sign readings in between them. So Pisces, let's hop into it. Let's see what's going on, what you may be needing at this time. We ain't gonna, we're going to see what you may be needing at this time, Pisces. Inspiration and courage, Okay. That's something you may be needing. We got three cards out here. Make a move. Okay. Some of y'all sitting still and it's time to take action. And then we have meditation and creativity. Okay. So this is divine saying, right? You got to let your inspiration change you, right? Whatever you inspired by, that's the change you need to be. Okay, so if you got some hidden talent, some form of creativity, it's time to make a move on it, especially if you've been manifesting it. Okay, so that's the guidance for you here, Pisces. Tap into your creativity so it can change your life. If it's something you've been working on, it's time to make a move on that. All right, let's hop into it. Let's collect the energy of your person. Let's see what's, what they're feeling about you when it comes to love, romance, and relationships. Pisces, nine of pentacles in reverse. Okay, this is somebody who wants to be with you, Pisces. Somebody who doesn't want you to move on without them or catch eyes for someone else or like start feeling somebody else opposed to them. I feel like with the pentacle, they've been taking too long to make you an offer or to be serious with you and it caused some form of ending here with the ten of, of swords now this person ain't done with you yet it's like this nine of uh pinnacle being in the reverse it's like this person want to come to you and kind of like you know give you something stable knight of wands here right they want to put their energy into this connection now because you ended it right mm, this person is obsessed they're highly attached to you okay with that devil energy showing up this could have been a lustful situation and the person was not willing to commit, right? But things have changed here. We got the sun crossing this energy. Oops, I'm sorry if y'all wasn't seeing it because I don't be looking at the camera. All right, we got the sun crossing this energy, Pisces. So you make this person happy, right? They see themselves growing with you and possibly a future. But you see this brick wall. It's like once they get over that, right? And I feel like they have with this nine of pentacles being in reverse. But if any of that affects your creativity and what you're trying to manifest into your life, it's time to make a move towards what you want to do. And if this person ain't on that path with you, then, you know, no matter how obsessed they is, how much energy they put into it, it will still be over for you, even though they may not be finished, even though they want something now that you've moved on. You could have possibly just moved on. So let's see what this nine of pentacles, right? It's the knight of swords, right? Pisces, so you moved on <laughs> and this person want to rush in on you now, okay? This is somebody who want to rush in on you now because they see you ain't been messing with them. You ain't been calling them. You ain't been sending them good morning texts, wishing them happy birthdays, checking up on them, seeing what they doing, nothing. So it's like, dang, what happened, right? Pisces really ended me. I'm not done with that. I'm not cool with that. So I'm going to try to rush in on you and see if we can get some stability back into this connection. All right. So let's see why are they rushing in on you, right? To, to be up to the same old shit. They're going to be on the same old shit in and out your life, right? They give it a little time for you to cool off or whatever happened for them not making you that offer. They want to come in and act like they want something special with you, like you they special person. But it's just for the moment. It's just the obsession. It's just for the lust of the nature, right? So this person... 
They may act like they want some stability with you, but it's just to get what they've been getting, right? Fulfilled in that lustful way, right? And I feel like you hip to that with the Ten of Swords. So it's like, I'm done with you, but you're not done with me, right? So you brought an end to this cycle because you focused on more important things in your life, things that make you happy, which are your hidden talents, your creativity or whatever it is you're working on. You don't have time for nobody who's not stable. So you brought it to an end and they're not done yet. They want another opportunity, right? To have some form of success. Pisces, this person know what they need to do in order to have that strong, firm stability with you. Okay, with the King of Swords. They respect your gangster though. It's like, she, you were able to cut me off. You stopped talking to me. You stopped texting me. I can respect that. It lets me know that you have a boundary and you're not willing to put up with my, B, my BS, right? And that's a fucking fact that they know and they respect that whether you know it or not. So keep demanding your respect from this person. You can't just run in my life, think you could get my goodies, and then disappear again, right? Nine of Wands, right? Pisces, this person ain't going to give up on trying. I'm going to tell you that. I don't care if you say no or if you try to set those boundaries. It hurts them for you to do that. Because they really obsessed with you. They really want to put that energy into you. You know what the Knight of Wands is. He's a player, right? You want to come in and act like it, this is that when it really ain't. They just fighting for the fact that they can't have you. It makes them want you more, right? It's like, okay, do I need to invest into Pisces in order to get what I want? So that's what they coming in with that nine of pentacle in reverse. I feel like it's pretend, right? So we got this knight of wands. They want to give you that flex, okay? Queen of swords, right? You could be their best sex partner. Let's just keep it real. King of queen of swords here, right? But it's air signs. There's no love there, right? It's just the devil energy. The queen is directly pointing at the devil. So Pisces, maybe you told this person, maybe you tell them like, hey, look, this ain't that. I'm not about to just keep falling into temptation with you because the sex is great, right? That's not what I'm here for, right? So if you set that boundary, that's what I feel like. You set that boundary. So if you ain't coming for nothing serious, there will never be, look what's crossing it, this relationship. We will never have no happiness until you become aware of what my wants and needs are, right? You want this person to change, right? And and change may not be their thing. I feel like they'll pretend to change because you set that boundary. You standing up for yourself. Good morning, Pooh. Hey, baby girl. Right, so Pisces, let's see what else comes with this Knight of Wands, right? You have not healed from this person. This person hurt you time and time again. Every time you fall into the temptation with this person, you end up getting hurt, right? But I don't feel like this time around, not this time around, because you setting that boundary, right? You're not making them no offer. You're not giving them nothing stable. They're not giving you nothing stable. Okay, so let's see what this obsession is. This obsession is this person want that rod up in you. Period.com. They want you to have this. <laughs> they want you to have it. And for them, that's what it's all about. Anything it takes to get that feeling. Right? This is about a feeling that they get around you or for you. But it's a sexual desire. It's not one to move forward on it's not one to create a future with it's just i'm used to you being available to me when i want to come and lay this pipe that's what i want from you i need you to stay open to me when it comes to that i'm not giving up on that but not giving you commitment either right my love for you it's like I can't offer you my love, not my real, genuine, raw, and uncut, unconditional love. It's like I can't offer you that, but I can offer you this dick, right? So 
It's toxic, Pisces. It's toxic. Look, there ain't no way we can move forward on that. There's no way that I'm going to keep giving my body to you and you can't give me the stability that I want. So why is it that? So what happened is, Pisces, they were getting the milk for free. So they didn't need the cow. But now you in this place where, well, you can't have the milk from the cow if you don't take the whole damn cow. So if that's not happening, I don't see a future with you. I don't see myself freely giving myself to you anymore without anything in return, kind of like energy, right? That's devaluing me. I value myself more than that, okay? So that's the energy, Pisces. You got somebody who going to come in and act like they want to build something strong with you because you ain't been messing with them. You ain't been talking to them. You ain't been texting them. And they want to come in and that night of cup energy act like they going to offer you love. And they is going to offer you love. They love you when they with you. Let's just say that. When I'm with you, you everything to me. But when I ain't with you, I don't think twice about it until I get that urge, that feeling here with the devil. So you may end this, right? I respect your gangster. I respect the boundary that you put up, but it doesn't mean I'm going to stop trying to get what I'm used to getting because with this Knight of Wands, my uh, hormones are jumping up all over the place. Now you can set the boundary and tell me what you want, right? And when you let me, I'm going to pretend like I'm going to give you what you want. But when you let me in, I'm just going to break your heart again. I'm just going to wound you again because you're going to see the real. And I feel like you know that, Pisces. You know this person isn't about to come and give you nothing solid. All they want to do is talk you up out of your drawers or your panties. And after that, then what? Okay? So it's like... I have this desire for you, a strong desire. They're actually obsessed over you, hooked over you in the sexual way. And every time they think about you or even get close to you, they nature rise. So they can offer you all the passion and affection in the world, but they can never offer you real love. And for that reason and that reason only is the reason why you, you not moving forward with this person. They may never get in your drawers or your panties again because you set in that strict boundary. You learn the value of yourself and you refuse to keep going through that cycle. This is somebody who run in and out of your life. You know exactly who that person is, right? You up here manifesting the heck out of your life. And now this person all of a sudden want to come back because they realize you have not been reaching out to them. You haven't been connected to them. You ain't been bothering them. None of that. And it's like, damn, my Pisces, you may have saw them somewhere and that put you back on their mind. And now they want to act like it's been that note. So Pisces, that's the energy, right? So let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity, to see which chakra needs to be worked on, or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Come on now, Pisces, sixth chakra, third eye chakra. This one is relevant to wisdom and discernment. When you know better, you do better, period. Ow. <laughs> I was on one for that. That was crazy. Okay. I am open to understanding the spiritual truth behind the situations occurring in my life. I offer my wisdom to assist others along their path. I trust in a higher source to guide me and, and to help others who ask for my guidance. I practice discernment and, and listen deeply within for the truth. I choose to respond rather than just reaching to reaching to sit, re, reacting, I'm slow, to situations. I'm acting with clarity, courage, and conviction. Y'all, what the fuck? This is what I'm saying, like, man, my mind gone. But if you understood it, because I ain't going to read it again, but wisdom and discernment is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time.
Bye.